Here we have A Still Life by Edward Conway. Now, A Still Life is essentially a study in still things, inanimate objects. These can range from books, bottles, uh, jewellery, more um, natural things such as food, uh, dead animals even, uh, and flowers. Uh, a vase of flowers is the most popular and most common uh, subject for a still life. And a still life helps us to appreciate the finer detail in the actual subject matter. If you come in closer onto this, you will see some of the finer detail that the artist has chosen to put in. Now, because of the subject matter of this painting, a vase of flowers, is, is quite a popular image in still life. And uh, many viewers will just walk past a painting like this without merely taking in, in what's going on here. The, the artist has put in a lot of time and consideration into creating this piece of work. He's thought about the composition of it, which is how it's all placed, how it's all balanced within the frame. He's thought about um, the placing of the flowers. He was probably a very good flower arranger, if not he knew somebody who, who could arrange flowers very well. But with this painting, it's gone into some very great and very fine detail, probably using a very, very fine small brush to get some of the fine detail, which he obviously appreciates the fine detail in the nature, in the detail in the flowers. And he's wanting us to appreciate that at the same time. So when you see a painting like this, don't stand six feet away from it. You're allowed to come up really close to it and have a look and look at the really fine detail and each individual brushwork, not just on the, the petals themselves, but even the vase, coming close and look at the mottled effect of how it's created light and dark. The right hand side of this vase, you can hardly see it, it just fades away into the background. And the background is just as important as the foreground as well. Without the background, you'd have no foreground. It's a very fine painting. Conway obviously had a very great eye for detail and he wanted to convey that to the viewer. Look how fine he's painted these leaves, the marks there. You can almost see the brushwork there, just the single brush strokes on these leaves and these petals. And he's taken everything into consideration. We tend to look at the bold colours, the reds and the purples and the creams down to the blues. But it's not just about the flowers, is this painting. Look at the vase that they're standing in. Look at the fine specks of light that is created on there. Yes, it's a still life. But as we know, it's also vegetation. The vegetation rots, it decays. The leaves fall off flowers. So he probably did this painting within one whole day before everything moved, before the flowers decayed. Nowadays, we can take a photograph and we can work from that photograph for days, weeks afterwards. So if you're thinking about doing a still life, think about setting, setting something up that's not going to move very much, where the light source that's coming at it is constant and you haven't got anybody walking past that's going to brush it or knock it over and you can work on it in your own time.